So, I'm laying in bed, it's 3.30 in the morning, I can't sleep, I'm in a lot of pain, and I had nothing better to do, so I figured, hey, what the hell, might as well shoot an in-the-dark video. You ever see the picture of that dog that's laying on his back and smiling? But yeah, I've been, you know, giving even more thought to the recent videos and the recent responses I received and um, let me clarify a couple of points that seem to be misunderstood about what the hell is going on number one my frustration with demonetization has nothing to do with money in a living expenses making profit kind of a thing Every time somebody thinks that I'm doing this to make money, it kind of pisses me off. And from now on, if you keep on, you know, arguing with me about that point, I'm just going to mute you. Because, yeah, I don't make anything off the videos. But when you monetize, your video gets boosted in suggestions. Watch what happens after February 20th you will see that the top 50 to 100 results on any search that you type in, if it's been done by somebody who is still qualified as a YouTube partner, will become a preferred suggested video. Then it will go by number of videos or number of subscribers, however their algorithm is set up to work. That's the main reason why I'm pissed. Second of all, and this was a point I made in response to another person who, like I said, I've muted because they keep on completely glossing over the point. I've been doing this for two years. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I've been doing it longer. I've been doing it for six years. I've been doing it for 12 years. I've been doing it since the beginning of time. Well, great. Good for you. Freaking hell yeah. Except for I've done over 420 videos. I know people that have been doing this for seven, eight years that don't have 400 videos. So... Good for you. I'm glad you've been on here longer than me. And, you know, I used to be a content consumer before I was a content creator. I just never thought I had anything that was worth talking about. So now that I figured I did, you know, it, I put in two years of my time. And most of my videos are not, you know, 30 seconds long, 45 second long. I don't do little skits. I don't do this. I don't do that. I do, you know, 8 to 15 minute planned out videos, reviews, you know, why are you looking that way? Your camera's up there, dumbass. But I do longer videos. You know, my average video is 8 to 12 minutes long. Yeah, they don't get that long of a, a view, but still, it's, it's one of those things that kind of pisses me off when people think that it's, oh, trying to grow the fan base, trying to grow this. Yeah, it's kind of the point, man. I make videos for my entertainment, but I also make it for other people. Because, let's face it, I could sit here and, you know, spend all my time just making money. Flex. Flex. And not give a effing crap. I'm trying not to cuss here because then I'll get pissy. But not give a crap about anybody else and do my own thing. But I prefer to do things that I think are fun. And, you know, when I build a custom computer or I go and I find a cool bundle of games or whatever I wind up doing, I like to share it and I like to get responses. And for the most part, I'd probably say 95% of my responses are positive. Most people enjoy my videos. Some people dislike it. And I don't really care if you don't like it because that's part of what makes YouTube good. I was going to say great, but it's not really that great anymore when you have to sit there and fight for your own rights as a, uh, you know, somebody who did the process. When I first started, you needed to, I think, do four videos a month. That was the original thing for a YouTube partner. And then, of course, you had to meet certain criteria. You couldn't be derogatory, so sex, murder, things like that. Second time they came out with the new criteria, you needed 10,000 views before you could monetize a channel. And I had already done that because some of my car videos got a lot of views. And then now they want to make it 4,000 hours within the last 12 months and 1,000 subs. Okay, great. Not a problem. I have 10,951 hours last year of view time. So I met that criteria. But again, because I'm not a snob, because I'm not a suck-up, I prefer to grow the channel naturally. I don't go up begging for shout-outs, shit like that. 
I I don't have enough subscribers. So, you know, hey, thank you for working for us for two years. You created a great product. We're going to continue to benefit off of your product. And you can keep doing it, but you don't get paid anymore. No recognition, nothing. So, well, until you meet a new criteria. That's like when I quit my job with the Chevrolet dealership I was working for. I started his IT department. I got everything running. I was still doing floor manager duties. And he raised the number of cars we needed to sell every month if I wanted to get a bonus that was equivalent to what I was making before. He cut my pay by $24,000 a year, number one, and then made it harder to get that $24,000 back. So even though I started a complete department, did all this stuff, did all that, he still did that to me. That's what this feels like to me personally on that level because, yeah, it made it really easy for me to walk away and finally get my health in order, which a year on I still haven't, so yay life. But it's annoying to do a lot of work, get recognition, then get that recognition taken away, and then get... You know, stick and carrot. Stick and carrot. That's what it is. It's the stick and carrot theory. Because they want me to keep trying, you know, to reach a goal. And then what happens when we reach that new goal? What happens when all of a sudden there's, you know, 25,000 channels again that have monetization because they met your 1,000 subscriber, 4,000 hour goal? Are you just going to raise it again? Are you going to start us all at the bottom again? It's like working for, um, what, what, what was that, uh, that pyramid scheme company that's out there? I lost a friend over it. It, um, ah, oh, shit, I can't remember it. But, it, uh, anyway, that's the point. That's the problem. That's the, the goal of this video was to talk about it. And it's kind of made me feel a little bit better. As you see, I, I've kind of perked up over the course of this video. So, yeah. Leave me a comment. Leave me a good comment. Leave me a constructive comment. Don't argue. There's no reason to argue. There's nothing I've said that warrants an argument unless you're pro-communism, which is, you know, bullshit. And if you're pro-YouTube stomping on the smaller channels, um, which is also bullshit. So, But if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you. If you enjoyed vlogging and if you enjoy some small texts and pickups and things like that, Sign up, damn it. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay.